Right, so we're back in me mud in this disused quarry. If you have a look around, you can see we're in the quarry bed. If you have a look around, you can see us in the quarry bed. Believe it or not, John, John actually does photography and videography for a living. Um, so we put these rods in the other day. There's a solid sandstone bed under there, so we drill through into them and we've concreted them in as well. John's been round with the laser, which you can see over there, and he's levelled all the nuts off. So all them nuts are exactly the same height. They're locked off together against each other. Over here, if you want to follow me, John's cutting the steel. Um, I've, I've got loads to do, so these videos are going to be fast. So you're just going to have to either pause it or just keep track of what I'm doing. Steel section, it's from any steel stockholders, it's 100 by 50 mil, he's drilled a 26 mil hole in it with the, with the mag drill which is here, that's what we're using to drill that mag drill, he's then using a 9 inch grinder to cut them into 150 mil sections, them shoes then, that's what we're left with the shoe, that will then sit on there like that, we then get Barbie 3 which has been pressure treated. Um, Amy over there is joining them together because they're not long enough. So what we'll do, we'll drop one straight down that row, we'll drop one down that row, we'll drop one down that row and then we'll create the box then with two on the perimeter as well. So what we're going to do, once she's done that, I'll then show you what we're going to do but we're going to mark them up for drilling and then we'll get ready to go. So like I said, it's going to be really fast so just keep a track of it and stay with us. Thanks. This is 4 3 it's been pressure treated. What we do then, we lay it next to the rods like that, as you can see. Right, what we're going to do then is transfer a centre mark there, use a sliding square to find the centre and that's where we will drill our hole. Again, I mean that's unfortunate where it's landed on the knot but that's life. Again, mark it. Square it, centralise it, mark it, square it. So when I drill them holes now, we'll force them on there. The rods might be a little bit like that, but we can bend the rods a little bit to get them to go on and then we'll hammer it down. But first of all, we'll put our shoes on. Right, so what we're going to do then, I've got this uh, Makita drill. Uh, I've got 25 mil auger drill bit in it. That's 24 mil, so we've marked us holes. and all it steady, do it nice and straight and down. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send it in at a bit of an angle just to clean it out and make the hole a little bit bigger than what it should be so that it'll drop down nice and easy on there. So we put a weed barrier down now. Um, I've pre drilled the back beam there, the four be free. Put the shoes on. What we're going to do now is drop that timber on top of the rods. Uh, the timber wasn't long enough, so we joined it with a splicing plate there and some twist nails. Are you just going along with each one, John? Yeah. Oh, go on then, right, with the cord in there. So while you're in there, just go in the woods the depth of the nut and then she will chisel it out like that. And then when the nut goes down, it will be flush, which will then let us get our oh, egg protector on the top of that. John's going to wind the nuts down and tighten the shoe. So what we do, when the timbers go down the shoe, we'll leave it hanging over like that and then we'll cut that there, that will drop down and then we'll use these 250 mil torques to join the corners like such. And then we will cut that off there, and that'll give us our corner. So there you can see the full frame going in. It's completely in. Um, it's six metres by three and a half, just over, because we always build it a little bit bigger as well. Uh, so we've hung these, it's all pressure treated wood. We've hung the 4B2s on these joists. We've nipped them there and bent them over and cut them round. Where they can't go in, let me find one where it can't go in. Where we've not been able to get a joist hanger on, we stick our 250 tech screws in there. So they're nice and solid as well. So that's the base fully leveled, bolted down onto its um, concrete pile system. Um, we're ready to build off that now. So everything basically now, once you get your level and that's all flat, then everything is just frameworks and it's easy. So preparation is everything. So that's the base. Keep following, keep sharing and keep liking. And thanks for all the subscriptions. And I'll see you tomorrow.